Hi, my name is Carrie Christensen. I am writing my special occasion speech for Russell Reel's public speaking class. I chose to write my speech on eulogy about my grandfather's life. My grandfather was an amazing man. He was the most caring, passionate man I have ever known, and he would have gave the shirt off his back to anyone in need. My grandfather was Andrew Walter Just. He was born October 18, 1921 in Mercer, North Dakota to Frederick and Rosina Just. As a child, my grandfather had a lot of medical issues due to being premature, born premature. He was the youngest of seven children. While growing up, he attended country school but had to quit at a young age due to some medical problems with his legs. When he was 19 years old, he was set up to go on a blind date with my grandmother by some of his family members. They hit things off really well and continued to date for a couple of years until on September 28, 1942, my grandfather was sent off to serve in his first war at Fort Snelling. While serving, he was allowed to leave the base to go on a home visit to see his family and friends. And while he was on leave, he asked my grandmother to marry him. So they got married at the Mercer Church before returning back to his base in 1944. Shortly after finishing his first war, he was enlisted into his second war on February 5th, 1945 in northern France. Not long after they got married, my grandparents decided to expand their family and had four children. They were Dennis, Keen, Carol, and Shirley. And from those, from their four children, they were blessed with five grandchildren and nine great-grandchildren. My grandfather was a very hard worker, but more than that, he was very dedicated to his wife and children and did everything to provide for them and give them a great life. Throughout his life, he worked for a couple of companies, but the two main ones he devoted his life to were the Mandan Refinery and Sears. He was employed at the Mandan Refinery from 1954 to 1967 when he had to quit working there due to health reasons. Shortly after quitting at the refinery, he began working at Sears Clothing Store in May of 1969 and worked there until he retired in 1984. As a kid, I can remember going over to my grandparents' house with house with my sister while my parents were at work and I would go into their fridge grab a handful of my grandfather's dried prunes and take them over to the chair that he was always sitting in his recliner and help him do his crossword puzzles for hours. Another great memory I can remember of my grandfather was each holiday we would help him make tons of his amazing fudge that everyone loved but to this day no one can still make. While growing up, I was always complimented on how unique and pretty my green and brown eyes were, and the pattern was very unique. But my parents weren't really sure on who I got the unique colored eyes from, and later on, I was thrilled to learn that my eyes looked exactly like my grandfather's, and I am so blessed to have part of him to carry on with me my entire life. It hurts me to say this, but I know my son Rylan would have loved to know his grandfather, great-grandfather, and would have had a blast helping him with the crossword puzzles and making fudge with him, just like I did. But unfortunately, my grandfather passed away October 19, 2009, just a little under a year before my son was born. Although my son never got the chance to meet his grandfather, I know that he would have gotten along with him so great, and I can see so many little things in my son that remind me of my grandfather. And I am so blessed to have so many great memories of my grandfather to share with my son as he grows up and gets the chance to meet him himself one day. Thank you for listening to my speech. This is my audience. Guys, say hi. Bye. Thank you.
good 